How's it going folks? CR here and uh, I'm going to start this video off topic and then get on to topic and the video because I think there are certain things I need to address before the video. Uh, for those of you paying attention, it looks like Joe Biden is projected to be the winner though the uh, results aren't certified and there are a few different processes Trump still has. Um, I don't know how likely that's going to be, you know, to change the results of the election or whatnot. And I'm very well aware of the 11th hour rule changes that were made that, you know, have compromised the integrity of these elections. Yes, I'm very well that, however, Republicans, Trump supporters, um, you did make some mistakes as well over these last four years. Um, and unfortunately, you've got to recognize them. Um, first thing is Section 230. Um, you guys had ample chances to address that and failed to do so. That lack of support you had due to big tech censoring people probably cost you the election. Of Trump, anyway. Um... Now you picked up houses in the, uh, or picked up seats in the House, and you picked up some state legislatures. You got control of the Senate. It would be who of you guys to remember that portion. Um, also, with that being said, you guys did chase away some support. You know, you shouldn't be blaming the libertarians who voted for Joe Jorgensen, just plain and simple. That's how you keep people away from supporting you. You know, and the whole bump stock thing, um, as well as Trump's calls for red flag laws. Sorry, guys, you shot yourself. Trump shot your party in the foot on that one. You know, you can sit there and piss and moan about it all you want. But the only... Uh, kind of explanation I got from this was, well, if Trump didn't ban bump stocks, we'd lose AR-15s next. Or we would have lost AR-15s instead. And it's like, okay, well, so you're telling me that in a time where Trump had the presidency and the Republicans controlled the House and the Senate, we were in danger of a, quote, assault weapons ban if Trump didn't ban bump stocks. You know what message you're sending out when you say that to people like me and uh, the other libertarians? It's like, okay, well, shoot, why are we electing Republicans? I mean, obviously, they don't, have, you know, they can't win even when they have control of the House, Senate, and presidency. They're not going to stand up for our rights even when they have those uh, sections of the government. So, what on earth are we voting for him for? That's the message that was sent out with that. So, yes, you guys did shoot yourself in the foot with that as well. Now, Moving on, um, in honor of the projected victory of Joe Biden, well, I went out and followed his advice. I bought a shotgun. Well, I already have a few shotguns, um, but I bought another one. <laughs> Okay, you guys can't tell me that's not funny. But uh, I'm going to move into the main topic of the video. Joe Biden, uh, shortly after being announced the projected winner, uh, went on to call for, quote, unity and healing. And I'm going to respond to this. This is the meat and potatoes of what I want to respond to. Because Joe, I mean... What was going on with your party for the last four years that you couldn't call for unity and healing after Trump was elected? 
it almost sounds like you guys want unity when you're in control, but you don't want it when somebody else is in control. So, I mean, it, forgive me if it's your words kind of sound really hollow to me. I mean, and if you want unity um, and healing, well, where's your condemnation of AOC? I mean, you know, she tweeted out recently, is anyone archiving these Trump sycophants for when they try to downplay or deny their complicity in the future? I foresee a decent probability of many deleted tweets, writings, photos in the future. <laughs> well, AOC, I think uh, Silicon Valley is going to do the deleting work for them in many cases, so you don't have to worry about them deleting it themselves. But no, seriously, um, sounds an awful lot like she wants to archive lists of her political opposition. Why would I mean, is that is that your idea of unity? You know. Hmm. Okay, so what about your uh, possibly wanting to overturn the prohibition on critical race theory being rammed down the throats of federal employees? No, I mean, Critical race theory doesn't sound very unifying to me. In fact, it sounds outright divisive. You know? So, where are your calls for unity there, I mean? I mean, let's look at your platform on firearms. That really doesn't sound very unifying to me. I mean... You want to pretty much criminalize an activity, or further criminalize an activity that many law-abiding citizens are engaged in. I mean, you want to make it so not only are uh, certain firearms not available for future purpose or purchase, but everyone who owns them has to now treat them as NFA items and pay a whole bunch of taxes for items they own just to be able to lawfully keep them. And it's not just the firearms, by the way, it's the magazines. I can't tell you how many magazines I have that are over 10 rounds. Most handguns nowadays you purchase have magazines that come standard with it over 10 rounds. This G19, standard capacity, 15 rounds. That's your idea of unity. Democrats, well, I got to say, you know, it's not my idea of unity either. You know, well, it's not my idea of unity outright, and I think that there are more than enough people who agree with So, with that being said, folks, there is one thing I did say, you know, I mean, after Trump got elected, I did reach out to several people who did not want to see him in office. I had a discussion with them, and, you know, I mean, we were in agreement that Donald Trump was elected the president, but that shouldn't give him the power to do things beyond the Constitution, and I asked the same courtesy for those who did not like President Trump to step up to the plate when Joe Biden or Kamala Harris uh, wants to overstep their constitutional boundaries too. So, folks, I doubt anybody on the, uh, or many on the Joe Biden side or the Kamala side who really need to see this video are actually going to see it. Unless, of course, it gets shared with them. So, I would ask that you guys do that. And I'd ask you guys, comment. Let me know what y'all think. And uh, y'all take her easy out there. Have a great day.